Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Today is Wednesday, July 6th, and today we're gonna to talk about your commitments and your limitations, because we all have commitments and we all place limitations on ourselves. So I'm gonna go over a couple of thoughts. First, commitments. Why, do I when I think of the word commitment, I think of, usually what I commit myself to, I'm committed to working hard, I'm committed to getting up at a certain time, I'm committed to trying to eat healthy, I'm committed. What are the things that you're committed to? And then you have commitments, things that outside of your control, I mean, still could be positive, that you're committed to do. You're committed to take care of your children, you're committed to work and make money to pay your bills, you're committed to your spouse uh, emotionally. Uh, what do you have, you're commit, you commit to things and you have commitments. And then what I think of on a third side of things is sometimes we have some commitments, but we call them ha bad habits. We call them addictions, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so are you committed to not working hard? Are you committed to eating the wrong foods? Are you committed to not spending enough time or uh, with your significant other or spouse or children? Are you committed to uh, not doing the things that are positive in your life. Now, I think we all have combinations of all of that, but where would the limitations come in? Sometimes we place limitations on ourselves because of our commitments. Like, oh, I don't, example, oh, I can't do that well in real estate because I have commitments. I can't put that much time into it. I, can, I have to do this, or I have to do that, or I commit myself those bad habits, those commitments of not working uh, enough hours in a day. What are you committed to, or, or what are you committing yourself to that are putting limitations on yourself? The limitations, I don't know why this, it always sticks out to me, is I remember Years and years ago, I took my children to Walt Disney World, went, went to Epcot, and uh, and we were in that uh, the the land, you know, where you could see the plants growing, and the you know, uh, I, I, don't, I think it's called the land. <laughs> I think so, and they have these in and around the land. They were had show different ways that they were growing things, and I remember vividly. And every time I go back, I, I remember seeing it is they have these plastic containers uh, with the growing pumpkins and they were growing tomatoes in these plastic containers that had, uh, uh, that were in shape of the Mickey ears. So it was cool to see that, that they would grow to that level and they would never, you know, obviously they made it hard enough, they made, uh, they bolted it together, there was thick enough plastic that that pumpkin or that uh, tomato was not going to grow more than that mold. Does that make sense? That's the visualization I get. We do that to ourselves. Now, there's other plants, like you, know, you ever see certain types of trees? Doesn't matter if there's concrete, doesn't matter if there's a house in the way, doesn't matter if there's a, a driveway or a street or a sidewalk, that tree, whatever type, different type of trees, is gonna bust through that concrete, bust through your house if you don't cut it down. There's, uh, so when I think about that, the limitations we put on ourselves because I'm sticking with just real estate. Every single age, right now, I'm going through our year-to-date numbers. I'm seeing agents that are doing better this year than last year. I'm seeing agents that just started a year ago, uh, that uh, several that are doing well, and several that are not doing anything. Obviously, it could be different reasons, but some of those people that are not at their limit of, or, or growing uh, and want to, 
there's something's going on between their commitments or placing limitations on themselves of what they can do every day uh, and uh, what they can accomplish in a week, what they can accomplish in a month or a year. I see that. I know that's happening. So that's all happening, good or bad, through the commitments you're making on yourself, the commitments that are placed on you, being life, you know, paying bills and having uh, just move forward in life, commitments as children, if you have children or family or a spouse, so you got to spend time there, or just commitment to yourself. And are those commitments to yourself good or bad? Those commitments to yourself. You know, I, I know many people like, I got to do this every week and sometimes that this is not that good you know they enjoy it they love it whatever it is but i gotta do it you know i gotta do it i gotta go golfing five times a week i gotta uh, go on vacation every month i got to spend time with my friends every friday saturday and sunday what what, what are the commitments that you're placing on yourself are they positive are they negative and are those commitments putting limiting you uh, putting limitations on yourself because there's only so many hours in a day there's only so many things you could focus at at one time are you committed to which i i will admit i'm committed to and it's a negative commitment to watching uh social media a little bit too much i'm always checking on what people are doing i'm trying to interact with uh, with people i uh watch too much uh, bad news every day. I spend too much time, Not obviously not 24 hours a day, but too much time I know, but I just, I'm committed to it in a bad way. A little too much time, and I've worked to hard towards that. So think about that. Are you committed to, because I see it when I'm on social media, I'm like, wow, this person always, five time, five posts a day, making comments even on my stuff. I'm like, this person is committed to social media a little too much, more than even me. So think about that. What are you committed to every day? Yeah, you know, drinking too much coffee, not drinking enough coffee, <laughs> not enough energy. But think of that and think of your liabilities. Just wanted to give you something to think about today because we all have them. We all have things we're committed to. There are all things, that we have commitments that are placed upon us that we all have put, are placing limitations on ourselves. Where are you, where, is it too small? Is it not uh, big enough? Are all those things keeping, limiting you to what you want to accomplish in life and in business? So again, just something to think about today and remember, reach out to me if you wanna call, text me anytime, I'll put you on the calendar. I will set the time aside to help you with whatever you need. So that's it for this Wednesday. Have a great one and we'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Bye-bye.